Morning Thonic TV, it's John here. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, it's a it's a sunny March morning. Uh, I'm currently here in Hull. Uh, I'm just picking up some uh, of my marketing materials for uh, development of caravans I'm going to be promoting shortly. But I've got another mission today and that is to visit um, an area of of, the, of our county that's been affected by flooding. Um, it's a village called Snaith and there's a, a East Cowick which is a little village is next to each other um, and um, basically they've suffered from the flooding. If you remember I've been to um, Doncaster last year uh, to help at a, a village called Fish Lake where we went there and we, and we provided several people uh, static caravans just to have temporary accommodation for their insurance so basically the insurance company buys the caravan and we then um, let the people use it and then we buy it back later so it's not like they're stuck with a caravan but you know it can sometimes take up to a year to sort these poor people out so um, while you know plumbers plasters and all the trade people are, are getting ahead around the state of, I mean if it I think we're looking at about 80 homes that have been ruined in um, where I'm going to go today. So uh, I'm going to check it out in person, give a few leaflets out, speak to a few people, and hopefully, you know, we can get these people lease undercover uh, in something nice and secure and, and um, in, for the interim. And we can provide. We obviously personally have access to around 200 caravans. So you know, if I can provide these people with something temporary. It's all good for for them, and it's all good for us because we can. Our caravans are no good to us sat in the yard, so might as well deliver them to the homes, and um, people can feel a little bit more normal, really. Because you know, there's nothing more traumatic than your whole life uh, destroyed by nature, by by water flooding. Um, you know, everything. People have lost their livelihoods, people have lost their homes, the memories, everything like that's gone. Um, and water is unrelenting. And if you're living in low areas, low lying areas of East Yorkshire uh, or Doncaster, where these estuaries are, you're just going to be, you know, dreading the day it rains basically. So that's where I'm going today, and you'll see a bit more when we get there. See, this is the other side of the bridge. It's not long enough to get down here. Well, it has receded quite a bit, but still, we're looking at it's going to be five or six foot deeper over there. Which is 
station is more like a canal. of Cowick and uh, as you can see there's more properties here that have been affected by flooding. Down this street here you can see the level of flooding is quite, quite a lot. There's somebody's home there, someone's garden shed floating away. It's horrendous. Yeah. And before they had chance of the flood gate, it come up at top like a waterfall, it's half a mile long. Wow. It was coming over that that one there, the green there, look, it's there. Yeah, it's like a waterfall.